Alyssa, you look so sad. What's wrong? Oh, hi, Miss Chloe. I probably look sad because I am sad. Mm -hmm. I went to the Good Friday service, and while I was there, we talked about how Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And after he died, he was put in a tomb, and a big, heavy stone was rolled in front of the tomb. And I just feel sad when I think about the sacrifice that God made for me. He sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for me. But that's not and the I end of And I just keep thinking about how sad it is and how hard it was for Jesus. And it's all my fault. And but it just, Alyssa, and the story so doesn't. I'm sad. Why are you so happy? This is a really sad thing. Alyssa, this is actually a happy story. Are you crazy? No, I mean it. It is a happy story. You are crazy. How could this be a happy story? Alyssa, you're right about part of it. Good Friday can make us sad since we talk about Jesus dying on the cross for us. But it's good for us to take a minute, pause, and reflect on what that means. But I want to ask you, do you know that the story doesn't end there? Friends, let's hear our Bible story and find out what happened after Jesus was buried in the tomb. It's good news. Okay, so listen to this. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, two of Jesus' friends, Mary and Mary Magdalene, went to the tomb where Jesus had been buried. Suddenly, there was an earthquake! Whoa! And an angel of the Lord rolled back the big heavy stone and sat on it. Whoa! That big stone, they said it was so heavy in front of the tomb? I bet it would take many grown-ups to even push that stone an inch. And listen to this. The guards at the tomb, who were there to make sure no one would take Jesus' body, well, they were so afraid of seeing the angel that they fainted. Oh, I know. Like this. Ah! Exactly. So the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. Jesus is not here. He has risen from the dead, just as he said he would. So the women left the tomb quickly, and they ran to tell Jesus' friends, the disciples, the good news. Just then, who should greet them? But Jesus! The women worshipped him. Do not be afraid, Jesus told them. Tell my followers to go to Galilee. They will see me there. Jesus appeared to Peter and then to the other disciples. Jesus also appeared to more than 500 people who followed him. Many people witnessed that Jesus is alive. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I bet all the people that Jesus appeared to also must have felt so happy. They finally understood what Jesus had done. They realized that he had risen from the dead. Is that something that you or I could do? No. Oh, well, who is the only one who has the power to raise from the dead? God. Oh. The Bible says that Jesus died on the cross to show us God's love. 1 John 4.10 says, This is love. Not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. This story shows us the gospel. And what is the gospel? Oh, oh, I know this. The gospel is the good news that God sent His Son, Jesus, into the world to rescue sinners. The best news. God is the perfect King over everything. But we all sin or disobey God. God must punish sin, yet He wants to save the people He loves. So He sent Jesus to rescue us. Jesus never sinned, but He died to take our punishment because He loves us. Then God brought Jesus back to life to prove that He defeated sin and death once for all. Jesus is alive! <laughs> you know, when I was little, my teachers taught me about Easter eggs using eggs like these. Oh, wow, they all have crosses inside. What color crosses do I see? I see gray, red, blue, and green. Each of these colors represents part of the story of Jesus. Gray is for the sin I made. Red is for the blood he gave. Blue because he rose to the sky. Green is for new life in Christ. My Sunday school teacher used eggs like this to teach me the Easter story too. So this gray cross reminds us that we sin. We do things that are not loving and kind, like hurting our friends or not listening to our parents. Because we have sin, we are separated from God. And the red cross is the color of blood. It shows us that Jesus died on the cross. He was hurt on the cross so that we could be brought back to our loving God. The blue cross is so pretty. It's the color of the sky. It shows us that even after Jesus died on the cross, he didn't stay dead. He rose up in heaven to be with God. And the green cross reminds us that we have life forever. God sent his son Jesus to forgive us of our sins by dying on the cross. He rose up to be with God in heaven. Because Jesus died on the cross, we can have life in heaven too. Wait a minute. I think I understand now. 
We've been learning all about Jesus' ministry on earth and how his crucifixion and death was all a part of God's plan to save us from sin and death. And most importantly, Jesus rising from the dead conquered sin and death once and for all. <laughs> God had a plan for us, and He loves us so much that He died for us. That's right, Miss Alyssa. The Bible is God's Word, and it tells us the wonderful story of God's plan to rescue sinners. Jesus is that rescuer. And you know what? Jesus' resurrection gives us joy. Because He rose to life, there is no suffering we can face that could ever take away our salvation. Jesus brings forgiveness and life with God forever to sinners. And that is such good news. Friends, will you pray with us? Thank you, God, for Easter. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus. Help us to remember him, honor him, and celebrate him every day. Thank you that he was willing to die the death we deserve. Thank you for raising him from the dead and help us to experience the true joy that only he can give. Amen. Friends, thank you so much for joining us. Bye.